ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm filming on my bedroom floor and I'll explain to you why while I put my primer on. I'm using this Essence Prime Plus Studio Mattifying and Pore Minimizing Primer. I just squirt a bit on my finger and then spread it on my face. Now we are still in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. Our country is officially going into lockdown from tonight at 12. So until tonight at 12, you can do almost anything you want to. We already have some restrictions in place. I'm going to first put on this LA Girl Pro Liquid Foundation in the color Natural. And I'm going to blend that in with my beauty blender. At 12 o'clock on Thursday night, the 26th of March, we are here in South Africa officially going into lockdown. Which means you cannot leave your house without reason, number one. Number two... There's not allowed to be more than one person in a car. And number three, all businesses, except for essential businesses, are closed. And there's a lot of other technical legal things, what, 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 what. But what it boils down to is for at least the next 21 days, I'm going to stay at home. And home for the time being is at the farm with the neighbor and his family. And while we're here, this is the room we're staying in. And hence, I'm filming here on the floor. And we've come full circle. So that's it for today. And I'll see you all again next time. Bye! Y'all know I have a lot more to tell you. Don't be fooled. So we are very fortunate out here and you best bet that I know it. It is quite a luxury to be here and to be separated from everything going on. But I'm here today to entertain and tell you what we've been up to and whatnot and not to spread doom and gloom about the pandemic. So let me tell you about what we've been doing. I have been productive to a decent extent. I've caught up with all my biochemistry in the one, the other biochemistry about halfway and the microbiologies I've barely touched but we're getting there we're making progress slowly but surely usually now is when i would be working but i'm like i'm a film i'm here today and the reason i'm filming today let me tell you that because that's actually quite relevant i've already lost all sense of continuity i can't tell a story anymore being dramatic aside the point for filming today is this palette the revolution flawless number one palette but i got this little palette i thought it was cute the mirror is quite nice this whole part is a mirror i do love that and then because I spent more than a certain amount, I got this little Revolution palette for free. And can you believe the one I got for free, I've used more than the one I actually paid for. This one, I think I've used once. But this one I've used a few times before work. I've used the highlighters if I don't have my other palette around or don't actually want to pack it in. I've used these colors in combination with other palettes to create different type of looks like the other day. I was just practicing like a rainbow eye type of thing. Wasn't filming because I was expecting it to go south. And then this orange right here was a really great transition color from like yellow to a pink. These highlighters aren't incredibly bright. However, they're quite nice for like natural looks. They're a lot more subtle. So yeah, I've definitely used this more than I've used this. But the point is, I want to try using this palette because I never use it. That, that's what that whole rant was about. Now next, I'm going to set my face using this translucent setting powder. I'm just going to use my kabuki brush and buff it all in. And then backtrack on what I wanted to do today and tell you some stories. I'm really glad I don't have to be writing an essay right now because I definitely fail for the way I'm talking today. But before I tell you a story, I'm going to use my Shade and Light palette to contour my face. And I'm going to use an Essence blush to blush it up. And then because the idea today is to use the Revolution palettes, I'm going to use one of these highlighters, probably this one. Now I can just babble on. No wait, last thing. I have this eyebrow kit for my eyebrows and I'm going to be using an eyeliner brush to fill them into. Now I can babble. So since we have gotten here, we have chilled a bit, you know, you gotta relax. So we came, we chilled, we've been sleeping in and enjoying life. I've also been vlogging this experience because I enjoy making my vlogs and I do want to stay up to date with them. But one thing you guys don't get to see in the vlogs because I don't get to film it, is what we do in the morning with the dogs. In the morning, about 5.30, the neighbor's dad gets up and with him, all the dogs get up too. So that's when the little Jack Russell, his name is Duke, comes in, jumps against the door to open it, barges in here and then climbs into bed with me. And he's all energetic and jumping around until you put him under the covers, then he kind of settles down right by your chest. So we get woken up by that and with him comes John John. He's very quiet. He comes in and then you see him standing here where I'm sitting now. Then you lift the covers. He hops in, moves down to lie by your legs and then he sleeps. So then we get some cuddles in with the dogs. That's quite nice. And then after that, when they get fed around six or seven, they're up and out of here. So then they're jumping out because they hear the food run out the door and I get up after them. I close the door again and turn the fan off. We have to sleep with the fan on because there are so many mosquitoes here. And I mean a lot. Imagine a situation where you thought you had a lot of mosquitoes. 
multiplied by three. I am not kidding. There are so many mosquitoes here. But yeah, that's what my morning has been looking like. When the dogs get up and I close the door, I either go back to sleep depending on if I'm tired or not. Or I'd like be up now and then I'll be on my phone for a bit. I'm chilling, catching up on Instagram. Which is a luxury I don't have in the morning when the university's on. So I'm definitely making the most of it now. And then when we get up, the neighbor, his sister and I would like bring our part. One of us would sweep, one of us would like make coffee and breakfast. One of us would go around swatting mosquitoes. After setting everything up in the morning, we have chill time until lunch. If there is something to do, like cutting the grass, washing the dogs, washing the car, that's when we would do it before it gets too hot in the afternoon. Today we washed the car and we were probably out of the sun by like 10, 10.30 already. And look at my beautiful shoulder tan. I got it on this side, got it on that side because I was only wearing this top when I was outside. But it was a fun activity. I'm glad I got to help the neighbor out with that. I think I vlogged it too, so you'll probably be seeing it way before you see this. After that, we'd usually have lunch. Now with lunch, we usually watch series together. His parents have these crime shows they watch. So in case you're curious about who this we is I'm talking about, we have five people in the household right now. I am here, inherently. My neighbor is here, of course, he's the one that brought me. The neighbor's sister is here, and of course the neighbor's mother and father are here too. So it's their whole family and me. And I see all these memes about, you know, people who get to be quarantined with their boyfriends or girlfriends are lucky. And I'm like, yeah, it's quite nice. I get to see him every day. But let me save you from having to watch me do my brows. I'm going to spend a lot of time on the eyeshadow today. So let's pick up again here. Those brows are strong. But let's get into this eyeshadow and this palette, which has so many hand marks on it from me touching the thing with foundation on my fingers, digging through my palette palettes for other palettes. So it looks very used. And even if you open it, it does look a little bit used because I've swatched a bunch of stuff, even swatched on the neighbor today, but I haven't actually used it. So I'm actually going to swatch myself if you want to see how that goes so I can see what these things look like. These powders are really not my favorite. They don't give off that well. The shimmers, however, give off great. But you have to use your finger and I don't like using my finger in makeup. And before I started today, I thought of a look I wanted to do and went, okay, cool, at least I'm not blind. I know what I want to do and... Do you think I can remember what that was? Nah. I would say we're officially running out of space on this arm. Nothing here jumps out to me other than this pretty pink color, actually. And that one's also quite nice, but I don't know what I want to do if I want to go pink or a little bit more nude today. So let's do the other two rows on the other arm. Oh, that's like a deep rose gold. That's nice. That will go nice with one of these. One more color. There we go. I'll tat it out, sleeves and everything. Such a cute look. Now, which of these colors do I actually want to use? In case you're curious and wanted to count along with whatever I was doing there, I went across like this, one, two, three, four. You know, I didn't think I played with color much, but I don't know what to do with any of these nudes. They're too nude for me to do with anything with them. It also kind of limits you in type of finish. It has these are the powders that you can blend into your crease and whatnot. And the rest are pretty much shimmers, like all of these. And I like a good shimmer. These are quite sparkle, but they're also not going to go into your crease too well. But let's start with a good basic and that would be this one right here. It'll be a great crease color. So let's work that into the crease. A big problem I had with this palette is it doesn't have any payoff. If you dig your brush in, it kind of just blotches all of it on and then it doesn't blend. But if you don't pick up enough, it doesn't build up in color at all. I kind of thought there was no hope with this palette and then I saw someone use another one of the Flawless palettes. I think like Flawless 3 or 4 and it came out so pigmented. I was like, well, clearly I'm doing something wrong. Well, there's a whole lot of nothing going on there now and it doesn't look as vibrant as it does on my arm. Okay, smaller blending brush and darker color so we can start building the color up. I'm taking this dark brown, swirling it in there, tapping it off because it really does kick up in the pan quite a bit. And then entirely shake off the brush when you tap it off, so don't tap it off. Never mind, even though wow, it feels so unnatural to go straight from pan to your face, it feels like you have to, you know, tap that extra bit, but... We are learning and we're going to place this right in the crease. I'm going to go with an even smaller brush and kind of create that outer V a bit. I am definitely getting some fallout, I can tell you that much. I'm going to dig into this color at the bottom and try and put it more directly into the crease to get it darker. This is a more black type of brown, it's a much darker color. And if this doesn't give me color, I don't know what will. This color builds a lot better, I'll give you that. I'll put a little bit on the lower lash line. It does give a lot of fallout. Just on the brush, you know, like moving like this and lifting, it kicked fallout against my nose. 
So be warned, maybe do your eyeshadow first. But I knew if I did my eyeshadow first today, I was just gonna chicken out if I didn't like it and then rinse it all off and not actually make a video. And I'm determined to figure out this palette. So we can't do that. And now we're here. So I guess I'm gonna have to choose what type of shimmer I want to do. I think for that we're gonna work with process of elimination. I don't want anything too bright and pale. So everything up here is out. I don't want to be too dark so that I can't see what I've already done. So these are out for the most part. These golds could work. Blacks obviously not. I could go in this direction. I could play with some deep rose gold. I play with some copper, but I don't know what lip I would do with that. And I could go red, but I'm not entirely feeling the reds today. So I guess we're going with coppery rose gold. So in this thing, even though you know I also have colors in this one, but the point is to use this one. The two palettes are worlds apart, in case you're wondering. This one blends a lot better, the payoff's a lot better. This one I'm struggling with. Not to entirely bash on the palette, it's not the type of formula I am used to, that's why I'm struggling so much with it. And even though I picked this palette myself, it's so freaking nude. If I look at the thing, I just see all of them as the exact same color. They don't look this colorful to me when I look at the palette. It doesn't scream anything at me. But that's why I'm so determined to make it work for me today. So, I think I'm gonna go in with this brown right here, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six on this third row. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna take an eyeliner brush so I can get a nice straight line and I'm gonna make it work for me. So I picked up a lot of color and I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Color in the lid, I guess. I'm basically using this dark brown shimmer to like cut the crease, I suppose, because I wanted to blend from the dark browns in the crease to this shimmery color. I'm going to put a bit on the lower lash line too. And then I'm going to flick on the edge to actually blend it up into the crease. Now I want to use the color that is here. So it's one, two, three, four in this row. Again, with the same brush, really dig in there to pick it up. What I don't understand, let me tell you, is this color looks green. It has like a green shimmer to it when you look at it. But if you look at it here, I ain't seeing no green. It was part of why I bought this palette. But let's put this color on. Pretty much same concept the one I just did, just in a smaller little circle on my eye. So it's kind of coming in. And attempt to blend. And then the coppery shade right next to it. Really dig in there. Put the same thing here in the inner corner of the lower lash line. And then do you see any difference? I don't see any difference. Let's get rid of that fallout. And then go for this straight up gold to replace the highlight that you can't see anymore. Because I want some actual color in this look. So let's really pick it up. Put it here in the inner corner. I just as well put the same thing underneath my brows to make it all matchy match. I'm having a real hard time here. It's like nothing has been done. And then that was a lot of effort for a dark brown smoky eye. So, because I give up, I'm gonna use this palette and a little bit of this color and show you just how vibrant and lovely it is to just add a bit of color, which is what I was hoping to get from the other shade I was using. But I guess I'm getting it from here. I'm putting it right in the middle and turning this into a coppery halo eye. This is the copper that came in the one palette and then just look at the other one. In comparison, it's so much brighter. Now, no hate to this palette. I know it's an old palette from this brand. I also know my own old content is quite bad. So you can't hold anyone's past mistakes against them, but oh my gosh, I don't know what to do with it. Now I'm gonna take my black eyeliner and color in my waterline. And I have to say, at least I'm a little satisfied. I actually got a look out of that palette after buying the thing. Not knowing what to do with it. At least now I know I can make a dark brown smoky eye with it. In case you wanted to know what people meant by tight lining their eyes closes up their eyes, Look at what this one looks like, and then look at this one. It's a lot more open looking than this one, but this one's got more of that sultry shape to it. So how you do your eyeliner is entirely up to the look you're going for. A little wing, because I can't not do that. I say until the day I run out of eyeliner and can't get any more. It's not like I'm stuffed up on it. For lips, there's something I saw on Instagram I want to try, so I'm going to take this dark brown lipstick and just put it around the perimeters of my lips. It's 
something like that, which is a super cute look. And then you take a super light lipstick, like this one, put it in the middle. And then you're gonna blend them together. Curl them lashes. And mascara. And we're done! This is what it looks like. My final verdict is I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. This type of look definitely works, but I'm not the biggest fan of dark browns and looks like these. I feel they make me look older, but it is definitely a look. It definitely doesn't look bad, or at least it could have looked worse. So I am gonna proudly wear this for the rest of the day because I managed to get a look done with this gosh darn palette. Today was a bit all over the place, so thank you for sticking it out with me. But now we're here, let me know what you think of this look. Let me know what you think of this palette if you have it. If you do, oh my gosh, please send me pictures of ideas of what I can do with it, because I want to use it more. I started with it thinking, there's nothing I can do with this, so maybe this got a little bit more hate today than it deserves. And if you love this palette, let me know what makes you love it. Because I have it, so I gosh darn I'm going to use it. Anyways, stay tuned because the next video I plan on filming is going to be with my lovely neighbor and I'm going to tell you about all six dogs they have here and they're all equally adorable. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this a lot more than I enjoyed making this because today was a struggle, but we made it through. So again, I hope you enjoyed watching and if you're interested in puppy content, I'll be seeing you again next time. Bye! Now that I don't need my reference anymore, I can smudge this. This has smeared all over my pants. Like, I have little stamps of these lines on my leggings because I kept putting my arms down. So let's get rid of that.